buried within the uncharted depths of waters surrounding a group of islands off the 50th parallel lies man's most formidable challenge. The awesome awakening of prehistoric monsters long thought extinct. Savage and deadly, their one hope is to rule our planet as they once had thousands of years back. Giant against giant. The ultimate battle. Godzilla versus Megalon. Science was baffled and powerless. A terror-stricken humanity knew that it was on the brink of total destruction. A once proud civilization now had to place its trust and hope in Godzilla and his powerful ally, Robot Man. In concert, they would fight this evil in a duel to the death. Battling by day, battling by night, it was more than a race against time. This war was an all-out effort whose ultimate purpose was to save our planet from total destruction. Now came the moment of truth. The ultimate battle. Titan against Titan. Giant against giant in the most spectacular battle yet. You'll see it all in Godzilla versus Megalon. Alright, we're rolling. We're rolling. That's a lot of G fans. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Movie Gums Podcast where spoilers are on the table and Aliens are never friendly. I'm Noah Olendick. And, My uh, name to the, to the is left. Noah Olendick. <laughs> 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 He's got a name tag. With, he's an imposter. Well, who are you? <laughs> I'm Noah Olendick. I'm tall and I have an afro and people like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at me. I'm Ben. I'm how in the hell? Wait a minute. I gotta ask, How in the hell did okay, you get Okay, so people two? who don't, you can't see us. So we have our name tags for G-Fest. And mine also says my co-host name because he bought the tickets, but he accidentally put his name for both. Oh, so I'm no Olin Dick now. So, <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> so um, to the left of me is Ben Leesom. Hello, the wonderful Ben Leesom. Who's our... this dumbass? <laughs> oh, man. And he talks funny. We don't like him. <laughs> get the hell out of here! Get the, fuck, get the hell out of here! You porky pig! Oh, bitch. you little bastards! <laughs> oh, I bumped the table. I'm sorry. And our special guest for this episode is uh, Jonathan. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Where, like, Jonathan, where are you from? I don't know. I came from, like, somewhere in Wisconsin. So, uh-huh. um, yeah, uh, to give some uh, listeners who I am, uh, I am one of the hosts for um, the podcast series Punks at Cinema. That's straight out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, because we rep the Wisconsin boys since yeah, uh, Noah, Noah and Ben are from, you know, beautiful Oshkosh. So mm-hmm. we got we to gotta rep each other like that. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I've known Ben for a few years now, and when I heard that he was starting, you know, Movie Goblins with yourself, Noah, I was mm. like, dude, this this is gonna be a collab of a fucking century because we we also would like them to come on to Punk Set Cinema very soon um, mm. after we come back from G Fest. Oh yeah, we're at G Fest. Yeah, oh, what? this is my first one. Alex dude, like, yeah, this G-spot is your first. Like, I got my <laughs> one of us. One of us. One of us. Google gobble. One of us. <laughs> So I was just like, how, I don't know, like, cause like a few like, you know, um, cause Ben originally went like, uh, like, what was it, ten years? My well, I first came I think twenty thirteen. That was mm-hmm. my first year. Mm-hmm. Um, I came every year aside aside from you know, the COVID times. Yeah, yeah. of course, of um, course. Then, yeah, it's just been so it's usually me and my ma, but ma. yeah, my ma, <laughs> my ma, my ma, my ma, mommy. Um, yeah, it's just been our thing. We, we've met people, Jonathan, uh, Matt and Matt. Uh, <laughs> you know, the McCants, because they're always, you know, great people. Yeah, yeah. and there's yeah, Matt Walsh. No, not, not Matt Walsh. That's a different guy. Matt Frank. Matt, 
Matt, so, thank you, Matt Frank. Oh, there's, well, actually, there's two. There's Matthew, like, Matt? Matt Walsh, yep. Yeah. There's Matt Walsh. Oh, Oh yeah, there's Matt Walsh. So yeah, there's there's different Matt Walsh. Yeah, here. there's there's Matt Walsh. There is Matt Frank, who is um, basically one of the community artists, but as well as you know, a more ref- renowned artist that is a kaiju or uh, kaiju artist. Mm-hmm. And who the hell is this third Matt? Because I only know <laughs> two Matts. So one of the Matts, he works in the uh, Hojo. Uh, oh, Dojo, Dojo Studios. Gotcha. Yeah, so totally helps make the costumes like. Mm-hmm. So like it's Matt and his kids. Oh, yeah, he's, he's a cool guy. I don't think I met him. <laughs> oh no, he's a cool guy. <laughs> so um, so a few months ago, my mom said I probably can't come, and I was like, damn it. <laughs> so so you, I asked, you asked another friend. Uh, yeah, that yeah. fell through. Who, you so, know Parker from our last episode. <laughs> yeah, the last episode uh, we talked he, about the last wish. <laughs> yeah, but he 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 couldn't make it, and I was like. I don't have any other friends. Oh, yeah, Noah's here. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. Wait a bit. Noah, like, wait. He's right down the road. (laughs) Yeah, so I asked Noah, and he said, okay. Do, do, do. And then... Noah, we're going to (laughs) Jesus. We're doing all right. (laughs) Yeah. And then... It's 3 (laughs) a.m. We came, and... Yeah. Now we're here. Now now we're here. Like, we're... Jesus Christ. What, like... What crazy, like... 48 hours it's been. Well, I, it's just like myself because, uh, mm. well, you yeah, know. Yeah, you want to talk too, yeah. Yeah, no, um, because this year has been very different, you know. Mm-hmm. I was working for the yeah. arcade room all weekend, mm-hmm. um, so I, I really didn't have much time to really visit the festivities. Yeah. But... I, I did, you know, enjoy seeing the people that were coming through the arcade room. I always have every single year, and it was so great that none other than TJ Storm came through the arcade mm-hmm. room and was geeking over all the machines and the games that were going yeah, on. I saw you. you saw, yes, I saw you because, had a picture with them, man. Yeah, because I, I was like, T, I was like, TJ, I'm really sorry for stopping. He's like, No, you're fine. I was like, Can I, may I please take a picture with you? And he's like, Of course. And he just stopped, took a photo. And he was like, thank you. Like, he is honestly one of the, like, not not to get off track here, mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. he is probably, like, one of the best, like, American actors I have met, like, in my life. Mm-hmm. And so humble and so, like, grateful about, uh, you know, having him for his presence here. And as well as, like, receiving the Skyscraper, the, Twist, yeah. the Twisted Skyscraper Award. You know, mm-hmm. for G Fest too, and that's only and that and the rare occasion about that is that that's only handed out to like the suit actors. But since he is considered a suit actor, yeah. they said, you know what, we're making it different this year. He's receiving the Skyline Award, and he was so grateful because you know the way that he got into watching these films was because his father took him to watch these movies and he talked about his first film being Godzilla vs. Hedorah which was honestly something I did not know about mm-hmm. him and that's probably the reason why he enjoys doing the work that he does especially as portraying as you know the big G for mm-hmm. all the legendary films mm-hmm. uh, but that's enough of my spiel yeah. yeah so it's just like hearing him speak in the opening ceremony and during the costume parade He's just a man with such a way with words. You know? Exactly. It's just it like was, he, it, it he was, nails it right in the head, you know? Yes, and he just, you know, from how humble this man is and how grateful he is, you know, I just, I could not just uh, sit there emotionless. I literally was, like, shedding a tear because I was like, this man is really just inspiring people out there. Uh, and you know telling them to push forward for their dreams because if you do then you're going to achieve many things yeah. it's it was a great thing that he spoke about when he was receiving that award and i think that really motivated a lot of people to continue doing what they're doing mm-hmm. and that's not just for anything that's for uh, that's not just for like suit acting but that's for everything yeah you know like podcasting this, you know yeah, this yeah. exactly uh-huh. you know um that's you know that's what I got out of it, and that's exactly what others more than likely got out of it too. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So for my, just upon like first like being like okay I'm going to G Fest in like a couple months I was yeah. just like didn't really know what to expect from it you yeah. know I was just like okay I, I was looked up, I researched it a bit you know um, I obviously like I, I'm there was a point in my life where like Godzilla was like everything to me mm-hmm. yeah and that was but that was like that time like kind of passed how dare you <laughs> how, how dare no. you son of a bitch <laughs> but like it was just like I was just like it was like I'm not like um, I'm obviously like not gonna be like the biggest Godzilla fan in the world cause there's gonna be people who like know everything you know 
There's people who, like just like just have seen every movie. Have <laughs> hey, just Ben's, that Ben's guy going right, himself. That guy I've right seen there. like, ironically enough, is not he fucking hates the show or series. <laughs> no, whoa, 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 whoa. He whoa. doesn't hate it. He despises, he despises it. No, it. <laughs> first of all, first of all, I hate everything. Oh, That's God. not fair. But. Second of all, no, no. <laughs> It's just not my favorite. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, your favorite is the Haystack, which is very valid. Yes. Because on a technical level, it is very much the most, like, chronologically speaking, and, like, in terms of, like, story progression, it's, like, the best series because yeah. of the fact that there's an actual overarching story with recurring sort characters. Of. Yeah, it's just, you know, the stories from all the films are just really, really good mm. and spot on. Especially, you know, films like Godzilla vs. Uh, King Ghidorah and as well as yeah. Godzilla vs. Destroyer, which mm. was the closure of the Haystack yeah. films. Yeah, like I, you know, like I said, you know, I'm, uh, you know, kind of getting off track, but that's just something yeah. that I just really wanted to, uh -huh. you know, say about the Heisei yeah. films. Yeah. yeah, and um, and it's just like the few days we're closing in, and we actually got here. Yeah, I was just like, wow, I, I'm like, I'm becoming like, I'm falling in love with Godzilla all over again, you know? Yes. Dude, I even saw what is it that you had a purchase, which was a MG One, um, yeah. Mecha, Mecha yeah, Godzilla it was one. my first toy ever. I was, was like, like I, I flat, I was just like, we were searching for it. It was like, it was like a single, like I was just like, I'll buy one toy, and I was like, okay, what's my favorite like design? Like, what's my favorite type of like, um, like monster kaiju? kaiju. What's my favorite kind of kaiju? Yeah, yeah. One of my favorites was Mecha Godzilla seventy four. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, we're searching for that one. It was either that or Geiger or Megalon or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Mega Godzilla. We found one for like thirty bucks. I was just like, oh, okay. I'm gonna dude, have that's that. a that's a great deal. For yeah, me. dude, that's yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. There were some that like went for like sixty bucks. But thirty bucks. Thirty bucks is good. And know? that was like, what was that? That was just today too, right? Yeah, it was. Um, that was like a. No, that was yesterday. Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah, oh, that was yesterday? Yeah, okay. that was, but yeah. that's still like even for the second day, like that's still a great deal. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I never collected like these toys. I never like knew like the price range of them. Yeah. So I had Ben help me out for this. Yeah, that was my. I was like, like help me out. I was like. You be quiet. This is I know what to do here. <laughs> yeah. I'm you. You told me first. You wanted Guy Gan. Yeah. And we looked at we found we couldn't find a good price on Guy Gan. Yeah. And you said okay. And I said who else? And you said Mega Godzilla and someone else. You said Megalon. Me yeah, Megalon. I was like Jet Jaguar, possibly yeah. Ava Unit One because I'm a I'm an Ava fan. So mm -hmm. yeah. So that, okay. So we looked. <laughs> and, and I can work with that. <laughs> I can. That's not. That's pretty good. So. Yeah, I I, I I forgot whose booth it was. I want to say um, it was the, it was like was one, it, it was, was it the like iRobot the, the or no? It was the one with the TV playing uh, kaiju films. It uh, was a cross. It was like when you entered the um, God. I don't even remember the vending. The ve yeah, because so many of them were selling toys. Well, but, like, the like, thing was that I haven't been in the vending. Uh, I haven't. Yeah, oh, yeah, I really have, yeah, no, yeah, no, I have not. Yeah. Like I, I, I will be completely honest. I have not done anything other than go to one panel, mm -hmm. and that was Scrooge Jones and Nathan Stein. Oh, I forgot 98 about that Godzilla? One. Ninety-eight was Godzilla. Yeah. That was oh. the only panel, and that was the only realistic thing I that I did during G Fest mm -hmm. all all weekend. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, you had to live, you know, you had responsibilities to live up to. Man. Yeah, I mean, to, next year is going to be different, okay. but th that's, th you know, I don't want to talk more about that right, because right, that's right. like, you know, yeah. um, confidential. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah. but, um, you know, I, I know the vendors because I've like seen them throughout the years. Yeah. So like, you know, there's Clawmark, Vampire Robot, mm -hmm. Seismic Toys, yeah, Seismic um, Toys, Kaiju yeah. Days, which, you know, they started, you know, in the recent years. Um, there's a few other vendors, but like... I mean, I the only one that I can think about that has a TV playing is like Clawmark, but I don't even think maybe, it was Clawmark. Maybe Clawmark. I'm not sure. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, was it the TV <laughs> or the small projector? Oh, that was the. It was like a monitor. Player. Oh, okay, so, okay. Not then, the projector. No, yeah. not the projector. The maybe, projector was crazy mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was playing a projector. Yeah. No, they had like um. Somebody had brought over like 34. Reels of eight millimeter like short films. You know what? And yeah. and they were even playing showing stuff it. in there. Yeah, yeah. In and that's room. that's the great thing too about G Fest is that they run a film festival. Yeah. yeah. And I, there was two movies that I really wanted to see, mm -hmm. which was Hundreds of Beavers, which you guys had the opportunity to watch that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then E K Boys. E K Boys, I really really wanted to uh -huh. see, but I didn't get a chance to. But mm -hmm. the thing is that. The movie is available to watch and rent on YouTube and like any other streaming platform. So yeah. like, I'm definitely gonna check it out yeah. when I have the time. And yeah. but yeah, um, 
Hundreds of Beavers, I don't believe, is available digitally yet. Not yet. Po- no. Yeah, not yet. No. No. no, because you guys were telling me that was made by someone uh, yeah, from, from our from state, from, right? Yeah, yeah. And no, I was like, what the hell? I know him. Oh, you know him? Yeah, I know him. I'm, I'm, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Uh, oh, he's the one that did it? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Brian Brixton Cold Tooth. Sorry, he, long name. Just but, like... I, yeah, he's, he's the just, coolest guy. Just to, just to make like a long story short about that movie, it's uh-huh. just, it does... It's Looney Tunes. Well, it's Looney Tunes. It's a one. It's nearly two hour Looney Tunes cartoon. That's awesome. That's the reason. That's another reason why I wanted to check it out because a lot of people just kept talking about this film, and I saw it popping up on the internet, especially mm-hmm. from you guys, and yeah. I was like, "Holy shit! What is this movie?" And then I saw the trail, and I was like, mm-hmm. "What the hell?" Uh-huh. And I instantly just wanted to just watch it, but I just did not get a chance to do mm-hmm. it. So. I nearly had the opportunity to see it at, um, I just chose not to see it because I just didn't like know too much about it other than the fact that it was made by the same guy I made, like the Mission, made Mission Monster, uh, at the Wisconsin Film Festival mm-hmm. in Madison. I, I wish I could have gone to that, but yeah. that's like a two and a half hour yeah. drive for me. So I'm, yeah. I'm like in the Madison area, I live there, so it's like, it wasn't too much of a, I was like, I went to see like this, not to disparage the film, but like an artsy fartsy type of oh, type hell movie. Yeah. But it's like it's really it was really good though. I gave like four and a half on Letterbox, but yeah. okay. I gave I gave hundreds of beers five. So <laughs> <laughs> just based on enjoyment, you know, it was just a, he has good taste. I have great taste. <laughs> so is Ben. Yeah, sort of. <laughs> it's, um, we we bond over our like weird taste in movies. Yeah, just depend like just like a, from the I call it from the art, from the art house to the grind house. Oh my god! But gosh. I digress. Um, yeah, Nerd, was great. But yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, just experiencing just seeing everybody so like I've been to cons before. Yeah. Like Chicago Comic Con, you know, every like that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it didn't feel as personal as yeah. this. Yeah, it might have to do with the fact that it's slightly smaller, a little bit. Ever growing, obviously, but it's, it's just it's so pretty, it's, it's narrowed a, down. Yeah. It's narrowed down to like a certain topic that people mm-hmm. just like get like just riled up about, you know, and just like Tom Con's just like everything for right. everything with the kitchen sink, you know. But um Marvel movies, bam. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Marvel panels in San Diego. Marvel movies, bam, King Kong, Ooh. bam, uh Avengers, bam. Yeah, and you know, like, just stuff just like that. Like, you yeah, know, everything like, is every product, you know. Yeah, it's, it's more just a trailer event. Yeah. Most, it is. Well, actually the one in California is I think, mm-hmm. right? Isn't that just like Hall H? It's like, yeah, yeah it's, we got the new trailer for Batman. And you know, spe- kill Superman five. And just speaking about that, um, Legendary has their Godzilla, you know, mm. tra- you know, uh, panel for next week. Oh, really? At San Diego Comic Con. Well, yeah. I was not aware of that. Yeah. That's in Hall H. Yeah. <laughs> I think they canceled it. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Well, well, so. There's a whole strike thing. I, I could be oh, wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the actors and writers strike. That's right. Yeah. That's correct. Oh, and that's... one thing, sorry, but uh, you might hear other people. We're actually in a hallway right now, so <laughs> yeah, we just want to yeah. let you know. Yeah, so, no, I, yeah. yeah I didn't even think just about it. Just full disclosure. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're not in, a, no, we're not a, in a private space, but no. uh, it's about as good as it gets besides, like, because there's not, like, a good place to do it in the hotel room. But Live <laughs> in G-Fest. Live at G-Fest. That'd like, be cool if you had a panel with yeah. you. <laughs> That'd be but, pretty cool, honestly. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's just, it's just, it was just fun. It was great to see everybody enthusiastic about the same thing. It was just, like, I was expecting it to be, like, kind of, like, okay, it was going to be pretty cool, but I was just not expecting it to be, like, just this communal. Just like people and like know each other, yeah. And that's how this convention is because even the more well known artists like Bob Eggleton, mm-hmm. Matt Frank, and you know, the, everybody knows each other. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has yeah. met yeah. and you know, interacted with yeah. each other yeah. for years. And that's just how everybody has built that ki- like that actual um, uh, relationship with each other because you know there's people like you know Jessica Swang you know how, oh she's great and you know Je- Jessica is always amazing I mm-hmm. shout out to Jessica 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 Etchells because she um, is you know one of the agents for um, well not agents but she assists with autograph and you mm-hmm. know uh. works with the agents yeah. that mm-hmm. that brings some of the guests to the hotel yeah. Um, but the, to give more context of Jessica Swing, um, she actually works directly with like you know the American like um, actors like you know TJ TJ Storm. Storm yeah yeah because that's how she was also able to bring him huh. was because I think she is his agent as mm-hmm. far as I know oh. yeah. but I, I could be completely wrong I'm not guaranteeing but since everybody knows each other everybody who like has talked to each other interacted with each other and done stuff together is like really really close yeah. just because. Godzilla, you know, as a conv- as a 
major interest is like niche nowadays but yeah. for people like us that's not niche this is like part of our passion and our mm-hmm. love that we mm-hmm. want to cherish for the rest of our lives yeah. and it just it's so amazing because this convention is continuing to grow each and every year because last year was about three and a half, four thousand 4,000 people. Uh-huh. And then, you know, this year I heard was a little bit more. Oh, people yeah. were posting online, rumored this is not the accurate count, but people were saying it was 7,000 people this uh-huh. year. But it did not look like 7,000 people. Mm-hmm. That could be because I didn't get much exposure, exposure in the entire convention. Mm-hmm. But... I can definitely say that there is more people this year than there was last year's mm. G-Fest. Okay. Yeah. And it's just it's interesting um, how the vendors all kind of like, I was just like, I was like, I'm probably not going to buy stuff. I'm probably not going to buy stuff. I so, like, oh Ben my, just oh like, God. no, I, I spent so much money <laughs> on at the uh, in the vendors room i i pretty much call it the your money your money is now our money oh room. god <laughs> yeah. pretty much in, in in lieu of aqua teen hunger force oh my the opening. God, yes. and um it was just like because i um i saw like the first thing i saw was like the mysterian um, original poster of the mysterians and i was like i yeah, he bought that. Oh, yeah. you bought that? I yeah. bought that. Nice. Yeah. And then I saw, like, a Black Christmas poster. I was like, oh, I gotta have that. Oh, man. And I saw a bunch of VHS Christmas. tapes. I gotta have those. Gosh, dude. <laughs> you know, and I was like, I spent the most money I've ever spent on a VHS tape at this con. 25 bucks for War of the Gargantuas. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, War the, and plus War of the Gargantuas is a great film. Yeah, too. I need, like, because it's got, like, Russ Tamblin of um, West Side Story yep. in it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and Twin Peaks. Um, and so I was just like, oh, this looks really cool. I got to grab this. And I got, I got Rodan because, like, those, while they were released on DVD, um, they have, they both, I believe, were, like, on a double disc, right? For, like, Rodan yes. and Gargantua. Yes, it was. Yes, like, it was. On a double DVD. And I, it's out of print now. It's like, yep. I don't know how much it goes for, but it's not, it's no longer, like, I, in, in, it's no longer being made. Right yeah, now, so. unfortunately, it's not. Yeah. I don't even know how much it's it's at now, but mm. it's got to be up there. Yeah. So, starting, like, taking things off for, uh, before DFS officially began on mm. Thursday, um, we went to see the, the second double feature that they yep. had, the uh, Pickwick. Yep, the Pickwick uh, Theater. The, uh, got, so the double feature was... The original, the first double feature was a great one. That I wish like I could have, stuck, like could, we could have been there early for, but yeah. unfortunately we weren't able to. It was Destroy All Monsters and the Godzilla 1998 version. The good one. <laughs> that's a lot of fish. Uh, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, our, the one we saw was also Pickwick Beautiful Theater. Oh, yeah. It's just like, it's amazing. It's, I'm very, I'm going to say this right now because the Pickwick would have never been here Mm -hmm. if no one would have bought the theater because they Mm -hmm. closed down back in January of this year. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they closed it down because Mm -hmm. the the owner was selling the the location, but then someone bought it. Mm -hmm. And they reopened it because it's, for one, it's a history for that city. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why I didn't want to let go. But I was very happy when I I saw that they were advertising movies for the Pickwick. And Mm -hmm. I said, what? It's open? (laughs) And I looked more into it and somebody actually purchased the theater. And they continue; they're continuing to run it. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "Oh hell yeah, finally!" Uh-huh. Now we're still gonna get movies each year. So yeah, and just the moments leading up to that it was like it was a stressful time getting there, uh. getting in the car. We will, for reason for reasons <laughs> oh, for reasons. Uh, ben was just kind of stressed out for the majority of yeah, Thursday, yeah. but um, yeah, and getting to the Pickwick was just like, finding a parking spot was hellish. Farmers oh, market, yeah. can the burn. farmers market oh, was yeah, got the way of that. No, dude, like over there, if you're trying to find parking, you're kind of gonna have to walk like a mm-hmm. mile, or you're gonna have I'm to. Our work wasn't that bad. I, I think it was like maybe like I don't know how. Four, I'm not good at measuring I, distance. I, I, we walked like. Five minutes. Yeah, it so was it like five minutes walk. It yeah, bad. yeah. No, it's. I mean, it's not too bad. But like but. during these movies, uh, it, and and it's so stupid too. It's, it's more because of the farmers market. Because like yeah. there was, was oh like, god, yeah. like there was kids playing in the streets. Like get and no get one, out of the word. no one in the state knows how to use turn signals. It, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, god. absolutely. It was just like oh like, my god. Like I was driving and like I was like twisting. Like I was I was about to like just I, I was gonna just drive to the hotel and say fuck it. Like I'm mm-hmm. not. We almost gave up, but then yeah, we got a parking I, spot. I, I was, 
It was a bad day. It was a bad yeah. day until up the until movie. like, but like when the when movies, Godzilla raids uh, again started, mm. we, we got right as it started. Oh yeah. wow! Like right, right as the credits started rolling. Yeah. And like, I was like, I was a bit worried because I was like, what, how's this crowd gonna be? I've heard stories about like, yeah. you know, certain stuff happening like in previous years, but um, it was it was wonderful because like when like the credits like. Um, People cheer at the right moments. Yes, in, yes. Yeah. It, it's, it's not like someone says, oh, hi. Yes! Yeah. It's like, no, it's like it's, a sitcom where it's like, oh, I'm sorry, is there a Godzilla to be taken care of? <laughs> it's like, whoa! <laughs> no, it's just the experience for some of these films are absolutely beautiful when you get to watch it with people mm-hmm. with the same interests mm-hmm. at you, mm-hmm. as you. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, but um, I, it reminds me of the scene in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood where... Um, Sharon Tate played by Rob, Margot Robbie goes in the theater. Yeah. Oh, and you know, I didn't the, even think that Margot Robbie played it. Yeah, yeah. Wrecking, wrecking Crew. And, like, it's just like, oh, it's just like, it wasn't, I had the experience watching the super, uh, watching the 8 mirror films where it's yeah. just like the, the illusion of seeing movement with mm-hmm. 24 frames per second. Just like, it lights up your mind pretty much, for me at least. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, but there was like this, just this, even though it was, show, it was screened like digitally, there was just this magic in the air. Where it was like watching Godzilla raise again. It doesn't matter if it's like not as good as the original. It just matters that like I'm seeing this on this big ass screen <laughs> in this huge venue with like a bunch of people who appreciate probably like as much as I do, probably even more given the context of yeah, the of fact course. that it's Godzilla. Godzilla raids again. Uh, basically, uh, picks up. It's like it's a it's a weird. I think it's a it's year like, after the a, original. It kind of reminds me of Son of Kong. Yeah, because, yeah, and it's a year after I after the first film, you know, after the fir- first Godzilla mm-hmm. died, and um, if I recall correctly, this is the second Godzilla that is like mm-hmm. you know in history for them. Like it's oh, yeah. it's supposed to be the same timeline. Yeah. Um. So it's like one year after Godzilla's you know term you know destroyed by the oxygen destroyer. Yeah. They find another one, um, by what is it like an ice cap? Yeah. Yeah. Or was it's an it island. Just, yeah. Yeah. Island, yeah. Just, just, yeah. Just, just fighting Anguirus. Yeah. yeah, yeah. By an island who's yeah, just just fighting Anguirus. Like for some fucking reason, they're just uh-huh. having a goddamn grudge nah, match. Nah, they just don't oh, each other. there's like a joke on. I don't know if you're familiar with James Rolfe, but um, yeah, 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 yeah. He was just like there's like a scene. In, um, there's like a moment in uh, his video series uh, Godzilla Thon. Where like oh yeah! Every single Godzilla movie up up to that point, because he made it in two thousand eight, where he was like, I don't know what it was. Maybe the Ganger said something about Godzilla's mom. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just but having a god. Maybe they're just having match. a goddamn grudge match in a fucking Woo! mountain or island, you know, Woo! and stuff like that. Two rounds. Let's go. Let's go. And um, basically, like, so these guys, like, they discover because like, these these airplane pilots. Um, Discover you know that there's another Godzilla and there's yep. this other fucking monster that's like oh that's an Anguirus <laughs> or like an Ang I don't know what the, there's Angulosaurus like Angulosaurus yeah it's like or how the hell you know what the hell that is it's oh, I don't we're know. scientists we're, we're scientists we, people we know shit you know yeah. stuff like that yeah just like and there's like um there's the actor from the original Godzilla who mm-hmm. was Aki- Akira uh, Takarada it, yeah Akira Takarada mm-hmm. oh no um, no 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 uh, uh, the, uh, the, he was the, in Akira yeah the the um, film Akira. You know that film? Yeah, it's like, I, it's like one of the saddest movies ever made. Yeah. I've never seen it. It's um, <laughs> it's about a guy who has like a year to live, and so he just wants to live it oh, the fullest. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the science guy who wanted to study Godzilla in the first movie. Oh, okay, I'm gonna have to watch dude. it then. Yeah, but like he's You'll, back, and he's just cry. like they obviously kind of got him back for like a few scenes. There's so like, sir. You had Godzilla experience. Can you tell us about this? He's like, oh yeah, I'll show you this footage of me caught of Godzilla. It's just the first film. And it's just the first film. film. Yeah, I do remember that. No sound. It's just (laughs) uncomfortable. Yeah, I was just like, I wanted somebody to be like, somebody in the like the the uh, the room to be like, oh, grab some popcorn. (laughs) Um, But yeah, that wraps up, and it's actually kind of haunting seeing um, Godzilla, the scenes from Mm -hmm. the original Godzilla silent. Yeah. It feels like a, it feels almost documentary style. Yeah. Because even though it does cut, it does like there's an editing rhythm and stuff where it's like obvious it's a narrative. Oh film. yeah. Yeah, but like it just gives it that like just raw feeling where it's like there's no sound. It feels like it was like recorded like cruel style mm-hmm. from like from the ground up, which is kind of missing in Godzilla raids again a little bit. Yeah, it really was because I know they focused a little bit more on the fights too because mm-hmm. that's what you know mm-hmm. what I recall from the yeah. films. Um, 
It's just a little bit more focused on the fights. Yeah. And one uh, the movie would, like, surprise me. It was mm. actually like, oh, that's actually really good. Because I remember being like, okay, this is just not as good as the original. And I, the, the biggest crutch it has is just not the fact that it is, like, a direct sequel to the original film, which is, like, so revolutionary, <laughs> you know? And um, it's, it is, like, kind of like, okay, it stands in the shadow of the original film. But uh, standing on, like, just looking at it, it just has, like, a good monster, like, good just monster extravaganza. Not extravaganza, but more or less just, like, a brawl, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, to the death is just really cool and for being the first time like Godzilla fights a monster yeah that's really cool yeah. and I do have a problem with the fact that uh, the movement of the monsters seems like a, it could have been slowed down a little bit for me yeah it because like they, they were kind of like quick you know it, and I think that's something that they really didn't think about at mm-hmm. first you know yeah. they just they did it at that speed because mm-hmm. they can. I, I don't know exactly why uh, Shiro Honda wanted to do it that way, mm-hmm. but you know, was they, it was the film was the Godzilla Raids again also directed by Honda or I I think if if I'm wrong, please yeah. call me out. But I think <laughs> it was okay directed by Shiro Honda, but I'm not guaranteeing on that. Mm-hmm. But it was very different that mm-hmm. the kaiju's were you know fighting at, at fast pace instead mm-hmm. of like yeah. you know at a slower pace like they didn't slow down the film in order yeah. to show like you know that realism for the film of kaiju's fighting you yeah know, just how massive they massive are, they just, are. Just get the, the slower movements mm-hmm. just to, yeah and i feel like they were just fine-tuning that they were just like it was like I, I can give it i can give it grace because of the fact that it was like the first time they had like well the first times if not the first um, the time they had monsters fighting each other, so they were just like kind of just figuring out. Like, That's true. Yeah. That's very true, because we didn't have any like, uh, well, not we, but like the entire uh, genre or not genre franchise. Sorry, <laughs> I can't fucking speak for the life of me. <laughs> but the entire franchise of Godzilla that was the very first kaiju fight that was mm-hmm. um, simulated for um, the franchise of Godzilla. I know there's been multiple other fights that have happened like in film history mm-hmm. but you know this was the first official one for Godzilla case because mm-hmm. you know there was nothing other than um, you know uh, like uh, Harryhausen you know for yeah. um, King Kong because mm-hmm. of, he, he did yeah. King Kong and as yeah. well as uh, The Lost World yeah. and I, I, there's other movies yeah. I know Harryhausen did mm-hmm. but yeah, when you bring that up, the definition of like a monster brawl is gets kind of murky when you go back further before like Godzilla Rays again because of the fact that like technically King Kong fights a dinosaur in yeah. the original thirty three film. Yeah, he fights a serpent monster. Yeah, well, that's not that's, that's not the focus of the movie. That's like, not the focus of the movie. Yeah, yeah, but it's more or less like he just like there's things on the island. He is, he's yeah. a survivalist. You know, he's like because he's, he's an animal who just has to fend for himself. Yeah, yeah. Because in Godzilla raids again, the plot revolves around trying to keep these monsters. Actually, there's a cool detail I didn't notice is that the, one of the things they they shoot flares to lure Godzilla yeah. away from the city, oh, but then yeah. but then they realize oh. The flares we shot lured to anger us to the city. Yeah. So, so I love like, that whole shit. thing where it's like, okay, Godzilla will... He has PTSD. Out, we have to feed, Yeah, it's PTSD. <laughs> Godzilla <Shit>. PTSD. <laughs> oh, and again. But uh, they have to... Uh, basically, they figure out that like, Godzilla's attracted to light. Wherever, like, like where there's light, he'll... F- but he hates light, though, so it's a little bit... Whatever. But um, they so they show, it's like a they, mandatory government blackout of, mm-hmm. I believe, Osaka. Yeah. Um, and so it's just like okay, no, no light going with Godzilla for the time being, mm-hmm. and but there's like this this truck carrying these um, these uh, prisoners. prisoners, and they so they, they escape, and eventually the, the chase leads into somehow somehow leads into like this huge like explosion, explosion like, like, like refinery, like a fish refinery that explodes. Yeah, yeah. And there's, there's that like, build up where it's like oh fuck, you know, no. it's like, yeah, it's yeah. just like oh shit, you know. And that pretty much attracts Godzilla and the flares that attracted Anguirus and the, this huge brawl happens and it's just like it's great seeing that like on as as uh, J- um, God I, TJ Storm mentioned it was just like the screen is bigger than your imagination oh yeah you know it's just like that's the, I was trying to find the words for that he nailed that right on the fucking head yes. you know I was just like that's it you know that's, that's what, fucking that's, that's it, it. <laughs> that's it that's what I've been trying to describe for years the experience of watching something like this you know yeah and 
just something that would, that's just so fantastical, something like Forbidden Planet or, um, I don't know, Creature from the Black Lagoon, where it's like these these vistas or like alien worlds, even though it doesn't like, you know, the Creature from the Black Lagoon takes place in, I believe, the, the South America. Hmm. It's a, this foreign world to us. And it's like this, um, these unusual planes, and it's just, uh, seeing like this this thing that you can pay like at the time you can pay like a dime for yeah. to see like this amazing experience yep. you know that's it's completely different from your backyard you know and it was just cool to see you know that that history mm. approach unfolding in front of me you know yeah. and that cool experience of watching Godzilla raids again with a, a crowd of people who were just like cheering whenever Godzilla showed yeah. up you know and like he was just like a like a not like a, not in like a negative way uh, like a WWE wrestler you know? yeah he's the heel man mm. and so like he has like a redemption arc and like becomes the the hero I don't know what the the wrestling term is for like a, the opposite of like a, for like a good guy but like um, John Cena yeah his name was John Cena and uh, yeah. And then it's like, so then like Godzilla just, for a while there's kind of like, let's just forget about Godzilla for a little bit. It's like, it's like winter time and uh, the people are just like, okay, let's just, like, they're just trying to have a good time. Yeah. You know? um, and then like they, I believe they spot Godzilla like at like in like a kind of like a crevice of like a glacial area. Yeah. Yep. Very frozen in place. Yeah, very little moving. frozen in place. Like one of the action figures. <laughs> <that> <laughs> hmm, a little foreshadowing. Isn't it? <laughs> We're gonna make so much money off of this from the the merchandise rights <laughs> alone will make us rich beyond our wildest dreams. Uh, now. Um, yeah, it's just like they're like, okay, Godzilla's here. All right, <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's deal with them. And there's just like, the, just before I get any further, there's like this the side character mm -hmm. who's like, he like kind of like flirts with, like, not like flirts, but like he's friends with like the uh, main character and his uh, fiance, right? Yeah. Like his girlfriend, yeah, fiance yeah, yeah. type. And he's got like this book. Mm -hmm. So this book like that has his crush, a picture of his crush in it. And, yeah, and like he won't and, let her look at it. It's like, no, 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 it's mine. It's mine. It's my mine. secret. That's and my secret. That's my secret. Fuck off. He leaves, my the, book. he leaves the book. He actually leaves the book like near, because she's like a radio correspondent. Yeah, he leaves it in like the radio room. Yeah. And then he dies. Where she works. And yeah, and then he dies. But she his looks, death is not meaningless because of the fact that like he, he crashes into the mountain yeah, and like shows snow. Yeah, ice falls. Yeah. And reveals the fact that, oh, okay. Let's bury him. And let's bury him in ice. Let's, let's deal with it. Because uh. be, up until that point, it was like... <laughs> Because up until that point, um, you know, I was like, it's established in the last film that when oxygen is short, you kill Godzilla, and that doesn't exist anymore. Someone yeah. pops up, well, what the fuck do you do? So it's you like, I feel like that. <laughs> you, bury you bury him. You bury him. You bury him like the bride and kill Bill Volume 2. Um, but uh, it's it's cool seeing that kind of like, okay, everything has. A purpose, like uh, yeah. that, por that part kind of has like a purpose where it's like his death kind of leads into that. Mm -hmm. And what were you saying about the book, uh, Ben? Oh, so well, we're, we were confused because it was basically at the very end, you know, he's dead. The lady opens his book, and it's like a picture of her. I guess it may I don't be. Remember that. I was expecting like, doesn't she it's, like not open it though? No, no, no. She, no, she opens it, and it's oh. like a picture of her. I think. I, I don't know. It was or, man, it's it's been a while. So I, yeah. Don't worry about I, it. But. I, I was like, because I, I was in the theater during like the because uh, I went to the bathroom like in the middle of it. That couldn't have been like. No, no. Yeah. Like this. This was like. This was like, like at the very end. So like this was. Right, I think this is right when he leaves, like, like okay. because he leaves and she like. I guess I don't know what I was doing. I guess I was just like I don't know. What, my eyes were off the screen. I guess. Oh. But uh, I guess so. I was just like, for a while, I was just like, doesn't he? Doesn't she like open up the book? Yeah. And it and reveals that it's like her. Yeah, it's like her. So it was like, is. That's just sad, man. Yeah, it's that's a dark. <laughs> I yeah. was just found that I was just like, oh, that would have been very satisfying. But I, I was just yeah. like, oh, but apparently it happened. I guess I missed it. But um, yeah. Like most of these films, a lot of it is human stuff. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, money. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we can't have a whole. It, for one, it'd be like people complain about that stuff. Even I have kind of been like, okay, when watching Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla, I was like, okay, the human stuff can be congregating at times. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do the monster action, but mm -hmm. you need that kind of fluff. Yeah, because otherwise right. it just gets. Because for logistic reasons, you can't 
can't in financial and economic reasons you just can't have an hour and a half of monsters just kicking the shit out of each other. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not it's not possible financially. Right. But, um, but also just in terms of storytelling, it's just it would just get exhausting, you know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, what were you saying? Uh, so this whole time we follow these three main characters. There's a there's a couple and their friend, mm -hmm. um, and there's a scene like when, where the first time they shut down the lights. Yeah. It shows the two the couple at like the dance, like a dancing hall, mm -hmm. and before that there's like a great few shots of like neon lights. Like, and, but, so, what I think works for this is that not only were they nice characters that you like, but it was also shot very well, too. So it's not yeah. like, bang, all yeah, right, they just talk. There's actual, like, care put into it. Like, even though it's not shot as well as the original guy, no. well, it's still shot really well. Yeah, so that's what surprised me most is that I actually liked the characters, and I was like, aw. Yeah. The, not the fat one. He died. <laughs> not the chubby one. Not the fat one. Not the fat one. He was. He was a virgin. The comic the really, <laughs> I'm a virgin. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the, like as mentioned before, they do. The plan is basically they eventually do bury. Uh, it's like it's kind of like um, the Death Star scene in uh, the the flat final fight in uh, Star Wars, where it's like they kick, kind of, right. the X wings got the guys in the X wings and the Y wings get picked off one by one. But I'm pretty sure they don't like it. like suicide bomb. The yeah, but, but they crash into Did like there's like you probably won't return. Oh, okay. But like they, they okay. get picked off one by one by either Godzilla's breath or they crash into the mountain where they're right. supposed to like shoot at the uh, the ice. Yeah. And they eventually bury Godzilla, and that's taken care of. Oh yeah. Godzilla fucking obliterates Angus earlier in the film. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just blowing him apart was, with a... Uh, uh, he, 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 he cracks grills, his neck with his yeah, with his jaw and then sets him on fire. Him with, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, well, and I'm, I'm not surprised by that. It's like, that's the well, end of that. done. Yeah, that's the end of that Godzilla until the next one <laughs> where he's in color and fighting a, a giant gorilla. Wait yeah. till next time Wait till for next King time. Kong versus Godzilla. <laughs> 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 mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's basically... I, that's basically all I have to say about Godzilla Reigns again. There's not really much mm. to it, but what's there is simple. Really, it's simple is gets to the point. It's like if I were like a kid seeing that, like in Japan or America, I would just been like, "Holy shit, this is the best fucking thing ever!" <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't curse, but I was just like, <laughs> "I would." <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> but what would you give? Uh, well, how many stars? Because we do Letterbox. How would you, how would you rate uh, like, Godzilla Reigns again? Mm, from my recollection, I gave it. Five stars. <laughs> no, did you? No, no. I gave it three stars. Okay, okay. Like a I, yeah, fun movie. I think that's it's that's respectful uh -huh. for yeah. the film because that's decent. You yeah. know, three out of five stars is pretty decent for a film like that. Mm -hmm. Just because um, they're trying to kind of kickstart what would be the Showa era mm -hmm. of all the Godzilla films for that franchise. Mm -hmm. So you know, I. I that's a respectful rating. Um, yeah. For me, yeah. though, I think I would give it like probably I, I would give it three stars as well. Okay. You know, I, I I recall as much as I can about the film, um, but it's one of those movies that still is like behind yeah. my head because yeah. well not in the back of my head but instead behind my head yeah, because yeah. like, like oh god like I kind of forgot a little bit of it. It's a bit it's a bit murky in terms of memory. It's yeah, like a so bit you know yeah. It's not one of those movies that I really recall as often like mm -hmm. some of the other more memorable Godzilla films. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I say I, I I agree. I would actually give it three out of five stars. Yeah. That's not, that's really cool. Um, I give it uh, three and a half. Okay. So that's, that's like, yeah, three the extra oh. edge because of the fact that I was just like I was surprised by how just enjoyable and fun it was, you know. Okay, so what you're saying is that it's the greatest movie of all time, of right? Of course. That's what you're saying. <laughs> no, fuck <laughs> Taxi Driver. Fuck <laughs> fuck that cowboy shit, bro. <laughs> No, nah, it's it's bullshit. It's Rage fine. Again is where it's at. Rage Again, better than Good, Bad, and the Ugly, better than Dollars Trilogy, better than anything that more that uh, Sergio Leone has ever done. Wow, he's saying it's better than all those movies. Holy <laughs> shit! We're totally gonna take this out of context. <laughs> <laughs> Use it against him. But yeah, that was Godzilla Rage Again, and then the second feature we watched was King, King Kong, Kong Escapes. Escapes. Now, oh, yeah. I will say, so uh, okay, so we're all waiting. We're all waiting because uh, Linda. Um, Linda Miller. Yeah, because Linda Miller. Yeah, um, Linda, who plays like the, the lady in the movie. Mm -hmm. in, in every con, you know, there's a lady. But, but, totally waiting for her to show up. And I remember I told you, dude, this is the best film by, by, uh, Rankin Bass ever made. And you're like, wait, what? Rankin Bass? It's like, yeah, the guys who made. And he was like, what the fuck are you talking 
And then he's like, it's it's a Rankin Bass co-production with Toho. For some reason. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it, yeah, yeah, it's just like <laughs> wow. It this is like because I'm not like I'm not like the big. I'm, I don't watch like the ranking bass stuff every year. Last for Christmas, dude. Last unicorns where it's at, bro. Oh yeah, ranking bass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep I keep, Last I, unicorn. Have you seen the last unicorn? I have not. You, dude, bro, that's that shit. I think it gave it three stars. <laughs> it's that's son a good movie. of a bitch. It's but, a fine movie. <laughs> son of a bitch. Son no, of but bitch. It's, it's got Christopher Lee. It's, it's, your oh, friendship it's, membership ooh. has been revoked. Yeah, absolutely, get out. <laughs> Yeah, you're paying for your own room, bro. <laughs> Ban, get out. You're banned from this friendship. No, but yeah, yeah Rankin Bass, oh, which I, oh, I think they did it because they had the rights to like a cartoon show of King Kong. They or did, something. yeah. I think okay. it was like a Rankin that Bass. Makes more sense. Like, I think it was like the one that had the theme song and stuff. Yeah, and I, and I guess Toho had some rights because. Oh, are you talking about that cartoon King Kong series? Yeah. I think so. Oh. So I think because they had the rights to that they were able to like make this with Toho. Yeah. Because they had the rights, I think, from. Godzilla, mm-hmm. King, King Kong versus Godzilla. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Is it is this for the rank guy? Is this his first name Peter? No, wait. There's Arthur and Arthur and Peter. Yeah, I think Arthur is Rankin and. Okay, so it was Arthur Bass. Rankin who directed the uh, who directed the movie. Yeah, well, he so, had help from um, from. I can't, sorry, I can't remember his name, but he had some guy from Toho helping like with the monster yeah, stuff. Basically, stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay, that that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is like. These are specifically Japanese movies. You yes. Know? Not just in terms of like just location, but just in terms of attitude and culture yeah. and stuff like that. The tude. Yeah, the tude. And it's interesting to see when um, American actors do appear in these movies, like Nick Adams or uh, That's Russ right. Tamblin. Yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. one of my favorites. <laughs> one of Ben's least favorite movie going experiences for a kaiju film, Monster Zero, because. Uh, Which also has the Pickwick. Yeah, it was also... My people. ears were ringing after the film. Oh, cause, no. Because the final act is they they create a supersonic device that makes a high-pitched sound. Oh, so like, no. I was literally like... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it was just ear, I, I was, blood I would, coming out of his eardrums. I was genuinely, like, upset because... That, that sounds hurt. upsetting because it's like, <laughs> it I would have loved to have seen Monster Zero on the Yeah, I know. Here. Not with, like, that loud. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, my... Yeah, yeah. but... But, yeah, no. Yeah. King Kong Escapes... Is basically like just a, a kaiju, like kind of like a, just a Toho eyes version. If you, I don't know, a Toho version of the original Kong. It's Kong. But yeah, basically, it's, it's just like if you, it basically like it's just Kong those, falls in love with the iconography, woman. the imagery of yeah. of a Kong movie is just so right. ingrained in in film culture and just culture in general. Yeah, it's like, just like when you make another one, it's just kind of like okay, we'll follow the same beat. Kong so falls in love with Lady. Kong gets captured. Kong breaks out. He climbs a thing. Yeah. He falls or something like him falls, and the yeah. movie ends. Yeah, I was just like, but except but for that, except there's, there's, there's like McCauley Kong, McCauley Kong, and Doctor Who, and Doctor Who. Oh my god! <laughs> like when I when I heard that the villain, yeah, the TARDIS shows up, bro. That's crazy. That's yeah, crazy, dude. dude. I I just I love this movie. <laughs> I'm gl- I love how just absurd it is. Yeah. I love how it just there it seems like a move like King Kong stumbled into like this other movie. Yeah. Where it's just like, okay, we gotta find this thing called Element X. And okay, we got this robot to do it. Okay, the robot doesn't work. We'll get this monster to do it for us. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and okay. I, I like how Linda Miller like you said like, oh something like kinda like um she was in the film like interesting Linda Miller it was just like she's not like did she not stick around for the movie because she was like she hates the dubbing at, uh, for her yeah, voice yeah her movie. voice like she hates the dub of her voice because she acted with they, they got someone else to do her voice for the movie really yes and she hates it because it's like I mean I mean it's like it's not cutesy terrible. sexy I guess Something, yeah it's I, just trying to be like, like oh yeah it's just like it's trying yeah. to be like oh Kong no <laughs> yeah. I Kong wonder I wondered about that because I was like that does, that's not one though like I no. knew it wasn't mm-hmm. her voice but yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I knew I knew there was something up about the movie, especially with the dubs. So mm-hmm. there's always something with the dubs. Yeah. <laughs> I I personally like the reason I like collecting different versions of these movies is because the dubs are so fascinatingly funny to me. It's like when there's a video by um, this YouTuber Nakey Jakey who like talks about like bad video game voice acting. Oh, the same logic applies to when I watch a kaiju film with English, especially like, the early films like the Showa era. Yeah. When they do, like, it's just like it ranges from like average 
to downright atrocious and it's so funny and it heightens the experience for oh, me man. in many ways well there's like this one that sticks in my head when i was watching the um because unfortunately the um the criterion release of it has some short i love that release but it has some shortcomings that criterion <laughs> box can go burn in hell oh, with God. all the worst uh-huh Fuck that box set, dude. Was it really that bad? <laughs> it wasn't terrible. No. Ben has a personal grudge against it. It got glue on the Blu-rays, and it oh. hardened, and I can't watch the Blu-rays. Oh, mm. no. Yeah. Like, I, 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 it's on my shelf. I got it out because G-Fest, I was going to put it on. Just glue on it. Mm-hmm. Just get stuck in there. I got it out. Just glue. Uh-huh. Jeez, that's a, that's a, yeah. that's a fucking bummer. Yeah. 160 bucks, you know. There's glue on my Blu-rays, so... <laughs> But two things that I wish were included on the Criterion release yeah. of the Showa era: the the prints that of like you know American versions of mm-hmm. the movies. So I can yeah. be like, okay, I want to watch Destroy All Monsters, the American like with the American intro, you right? Know? Or Monster Zero with like the American opening yeah. credits. That's not that's not a big Which, deal. I think that was Toho. That Toho was restricting that. Yeah, Toho her, did yeah. say Toho or Toho said you couldn't do that or something. Um, I actually don't recall. I that. think. I think that was like a restriction. Okay. That, they weren't able we, to do that, that could be wrong. They but... can only do the source prints. Yeah. And but the big thing was they're missing a lot of dubs mm. that are hilarious. Uh... They have they have Mecha God they have the both the Mecha Godzilla dubs, which is hilarious because it's like this is space titanium. Mm-hmm. You mean it's from outer space? <laughs> <laughs> and there's like the uh, the guy who's like um, Doctor Mifuni in the Terra Mecha Godzilla, uh-huh. where he's like he's like screaming Katsura's name. He's like. Oh, he's got like the fake mustache. He's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, but no, it's just like the dubs are just not, and because the most readily available version of King Kong Escapes is in America at least is the um, is the American cut, mm-hmm. well American version with the dubbing and the credits yeah. and stuff. Yeah. But that was just fun to watch, man. Mm-hmm. It, the whole Bond esque element of it, mm-hmm. <laughs> element. Was just a fun. It was just a romp, dude. I was, was falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, you were just tired. Asleep. You were tired. You were oh, exhausted. Well, man. So well, so I drove from Green Bay to Madison to here. Jesus. And like you know, when I got here, some drama like with the hotel. I was just like, yeah. I'm tired. Uh, well, I was like, you I know. want to stay awake. To, yeah. <laughs> stay awake. I was just like, and then I was, I was imagining, just like I was shaking awake, being like, Hey, was that fun? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like, yeah, sure. Well, I, I think I, I missed. Cause like they get captured by the bad guys. They, I, well, I think they get I, captured like twice. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like I woke up just when they were escaping, mm-hmm. at one point. Yeah. But, yeah, I I, I, I enjoyed it. I love it's. I thought it was beautiful. The mm-hmm. colors and yeah, the, the color. Yeah, watching that in color was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I think I there is a similar incident with like Tyler Tyler falling asleep during. Uh, yeah, Tyler my. Mm-hmm. My friend, who's the host of Punk Set Cinema, um, he he also fell asleep through one of the movies. I forgot which movie we went to go see, but it was during one of the night showings at gotcha. like 10:30, mm-hmm. and he was just already awake like almost 24 hours prior uh-huh. because of work. Uh-huh. So he was just falling asleep during the movie. He was just like, and then he would wake up like at the very end of the movie, like <laughs> when everybody started clapping, he would just go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit! And he'd be like, I'll be like, are you good? And he's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm trying to like think about how to explain like because it's a pretty like it's like okay they're trying to get I kind of in a way explained a little bit of like the plot of the, the beginning of King Kong Escapes. It's, but yeah, I mean it's, it's not that I mean it's not it's not complicated, but it's just like. No. There's okay, so it's like the characters are on like on a submarine. They get like they find out about Kong. He falls in love with the lady. They find out about the uh, Element X operation, mm-hmm. and he's like, "That's bad. We don't that's like bad. that. We don't like that. That's bad. It's a very, no. it's not very nuanced. No, but it doesn't need to be. So it's like, I, sorry if it's like feels like jumbled or like inane mm-hmm. to talk about. But King, but Kong, so is the movie. Yeah, <laughs> they, it really yeah. is. And it's like, there's they're like, yeah, we're going to the UN, and then there's like. I'm Doctor Who. I'm Doctor Who. And you're mentioning like in your, in his, your country. Nah. Oh, his teeth. His teeth. His teeth. <laughs> so the act, I, it's yeah. like the top teeth are like nice and white and perfect, and the bottom teeth look like someone ripped them out of his gums. Mm-hmm. That was pretty weird, gums, honestly. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. I can't tell if that's intentional or not. Uh-huh. <laughs> but I just and then love how absurd some of the stuff is. Yeah, now. and then there's like a lady who's like whose country is paying him to like make. 
McCanny Kong, and then he's she's like, we're gonna pull funding. Please don't. Okay. <laughs> that happens a few times, uh-huh. and then he shoots her. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Also, wasn't this the first film that actually featured Gorosaurus? Yep. As yes. Well? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I, that was something that I, I, I was like, all right, I'm thinking at the back of my head. Wait a minute, was this it? Yeah. And yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. This was the first feature of Gorosaurus. Well, 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 because they wanted the T Rex scene. I mean, he even does the jaw yeah, thing. Does the yeah. jaw like we want to trademark it too. So mm-hmm. they call it Gorosaurus. They call Gorosaurus. Yep. And he jumps good. Destroy monsters too. Yeah. Yep. Destroy monsters. That man just kangaroo kicks the shit out of people. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Um, we, yeah. Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> there was, um, I was mentioning this to Ben, uh, where I was, just, I was just gushing about the movie. Because mm-hmm. it's now, it's not even a guilty pleasure, it's just like, oh, I love this movie, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just one of those things where it's like, okay, I was trying to rationalize it, because I was just like, okay, calling the movie, as opposed to Godzilla, is since he's more close to like a human res- resemblance, is able to like emo- emote more, <laughs> a little bit. I know it's like it's it's like it's like it's shoddy, and the facial expressions are kind of weird. But it's just like you can tell what he's thinking sometimes. Like what facial expressions? Well, like when he's like 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 when he's kind of contorting <laughs> yeah. his face and stuff, where he's like he's moved like his you know it's like you know I found that to be mm-hmm. interesting. Um, yeah. But Godzilla obviously became more like a motive in his, his um, body in right. body language. That's on the par- that's um, due to the talent of the uh, person in the suit yeah. in the direction. Um, uh, but before that, he was just more like a force of nature, emotionless, mm-hmm. not doesn't uh, care about a single person he stomps on, you nope. know, or blows up. Yeah, in active fire. Uh, and but King Kong is more closer to like I guess like a human human attributes because yeah. you know he's an ape so that is just from osmosis of being uh, the the, cre- the, mm. the species that he is it's right. just like there's that attribute that is that is yeah. I, I couldn't even character. that I've heard the same, my mom said the same thing about the new uh, King Kong vs. Godzilla mm-hmm. movie mm-hmm. and like but this time I was like I can't see that as anything aside from just being the fact that, that he's an ape <laughs> well no it's just like I don't see that as an ape that's a guy in a suit. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I was. I, I guess it was just me giving myself over to the movie. And yeah, just me like accepting every absurdity and every like kind of nonsensical yeah. thing. Go along for the ride, mm-hmm. which for some movies I cannot do. But for this one, I was just yeah. like, oh, I'm on board. You know, I'm strapping yeah. myself yeah, in. Uh, yeah, of but, course. Yeah. Um, do you have any closing thoughts about this movie or? Uh, oh, wait, closing thoughts. Oh, uh, do you have any other like? Oh, yeah. yeah. They should have had more Gorosaurus. They should have. <laughs> mm-hmm. They yeah. should have. Um, Kong should have died falling off that tower <laughs> instead of Mechanic Kong. No, it's <laughs> <laughs> oh. Mechanic Kong rule, wins the day. They both rule, die. Rules the day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, the only closure is that this was actually a really great film. This was probably a movie that I rem- I will remember to this day because this was like one of the first set of films that I watched like growing up as a Godzilla fan yeah. and I loved I actually did love King Kong um, the 33 and then when I saw King Kong Escapes I was like damn this is just as good as that mm-hmm. but you know this is people in suits and the story was really solid too yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. it was just it, it was just fun it was just the plot itself it did repeat itself a few times where it's like okay we escaped and then we're captured again but then yeah. we escaped again but um, besides, the, besides the repetition, it's just, it, it moves along at a nice pace. Exactly, it doesn't, it yeah. doesn't feel slow at times. It's just, it's like, oh, there's some moments where it's like, there's like the old dude with, um, on the island, you know, oh, it's like, it's oh, like, yeah. like, I don't he remember like, now. Who pulls out a gun and he's just, I don't know what, he, I, he says something really like, he's fun, like, well, he says, cool. Oh, what uh, does he say? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot. shoot you. Boom, boom. But I was, he was probably like, yeah, uh, he was like, he was like, he's basically like calling his R's now. He just shoots the guy dead. <laughs> um, oh. And uh, the one lady who was like the representative of the country yeah. that won out next, she like turns on Doctor Who and she like pulls out, she steals like his gun. And she's like, yeah. you are going to die. <laughs> but then she talks and more, and then she gets to kill yeah. herself. So you know. Remember that great line with the main character who's, uh, it's, it's I, like. I, I, Oh, I wouldn't say it, but just like, you know, just, there's know exactly there's, there's a line that there's has like a not line that's a racially insensitive. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like you're not the usual, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do yeah. Uh-huh. 
And it's like, <laughs> time to get canceled. <laughs> Thankfully, I was awake for that part. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hashtag cancel that actor. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's probably canceled yeah. for life. <laughs> but uh, no, King Kong Escapes was just a surprise to me. Yeah. It was just like, I was just like, oh, that seems like a fun, because originally it was supposed to be Ultraman. That was shown. Yeah, which I was really, really yeah. upset about that. I that was, got yeah. canceled because uh-huh. I was, my, my friend Griff and I were really excited to watch that. Griffin's an Ultraman fan, and he said that's his favorite Ultraman film to date. Okay. Oh wow! So like, I was just excited to go watch it, and then I find out that they canceled it. I'm uh-huh. like, well, fuck, well, fuck. <laughs> why? Uh, you know why? Was I that? still have no idea why they canceled it, but I mean, it's you know, it's coming out soon, or yeah. it's already, it's I think, I think it's so. out. I think it's out in Japan. Uh, no, it's out on DVD. Oh, it is, is it? out. Yep. Oh. So like you can purchase it online, but oh, okay. still, like I was just upset. The big screen. I wanted to see it again on big screen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because That's it was fair. such a great film. Yeah, mm. it's it is a switch up because yeah. it's like well I didn't see Ultraman, but then I got to see like King Kong Escapes for yeah. the first time. Yeah, which is like I'm now in love with. You know, yeah. it's great. Yeah. It, it's a great film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what would you what would you guys rate it? Hmm. Mm. What would I read it? Mrs. Puff! I would never. Okay, so I. Ben knows this for me. Like, before we read it, Ben just knows this about me. I just quote, like, the most random shit. For <laughs> no context. Most of it from SpongeBob. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. I never, I never give this vote to you. Not even if you were. <gasps> Mrs. Puff. Puff. The blah, 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 blah. I I am sure the he day I when, <laughs> I'm sure when I die that Noah will be at my funeral and halfway through he's gonna shove King Kong up my ass like halfway through yeah. the service. Because I, have no, bunch of, yeah. I have a bunch of catchphrases from our from our podcast. One was uh-huh. like the, for Dogma. He's you're his father. You sick fuck. fuck. Oh. And then another one. I forgot another one. But the most recent one was I keep on keep saying it. I, I'm sorry you got me friend then because like you have to hang around me and deal with my bullshit. Mm-hmm. I say like the A V G N quote, Jesus Christ, I thought sixty dollar grizzly bear while shoving King Kong up my ass. <laughs> For no again, there's no like we're in the elevator is waiting, like he just says it. It's like and and half like or like there's times where I'm like in my costume this year uh-huh. and walk around and I hear him say something, I go, What? He's like, don't, don't worry about it. <laughs> I know he's quoting some bullshit. <laughs> I, 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 what? Or like you just say it was like, uh, just uh, just in the hotel room before we head oh down my here, God. I quoted Ghostbusters. I was quoting Egon saying, <laughs> like, this what? place should be condemned. <laughs> <laughs> like, and then the flagpole thing is like, what? <laughs> I don't I don't get the I don't get it. But uh, but yeah, King Kong escapes. <laughs> what was you guys rated? Oh yeah, five, uh, at five stars. I sh- I say. Just shove it up my ass. I love it. Uh, <laughs> shove it up your ass out of five. I, I, dude, honestly, a straight solid five out of five. Whoa. It, is, nice. it is a great movie. Wow. It is probably like one of my favorite films, and especially like growing up. Mm-hmm. I didn't you know, know, I just, I just love the film. Uh-huh. It is it is absolutely up there with um, many other classics that I have watched, but that's definitely one film that I really enjoyed mm-hmm. to nice. this day. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So, okay, my actual rating. I yeah, yeah, actual yeah, rating. yeah, yeah. Actual let's, let's get to it. Yeah, that's not shoving it up my ass. Uh, I gave it t- three and a half. Three and a half. Yeah. I felt like that was a fair. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fair, yeah. It's above average. Mm-hmm. It's fun. Yeah. It's pretty. I'm between you guys. I'm between you two. Um, I gave it four. You gave it four? Yeah. Nice. The same rating I gave in The Dark Knight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's like, it's good. It's like, what I was try- it's, I, I'm weird in terms of rating. It's like, in terms of what I was trying to accomplish, you know, comparatively, I don't compare like, it's mm-hmm. weird. I don't think it's about it too wh- much. It's your you know? thing, whatever. Yeah. It's your ratings, your it's personal rating. ratings. And if they don't like it, they go fuck themselves. Four. <laughs> of course. Four yeah. out of five. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, those are the movies we watch, and and then some, you know. And then the beavers. whole experience, you know, of going to G-Fest. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I got one more thing I want to, one story is that, mm-hmm. so this, this, yeah. this year I was Frank the Bunny mm-hmm. yeah, as my cosplay. Oh, yes. my God. Uh-huh. Dude, I was so happy when I saw that. I was like, <laughs> fuck yeah. And pe- even people were like, what the hell is he doing here? Yeah, yeah. but so, you know, I was walking around, people taking pictures. Uh, little kids were uncomfortable. It was, just, <laughs> it was great. It was a good time. But I, so, um, 
the second day, yesterday, we I was like, okay, it's getting hot. I want to go shower. Let's go up to the room. And we're standing by the elevator, and this guy comes up. Yeah, with like tux. A, yeah, a tux, like a blue, fancy tuxedo. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and like, he goes up to me, and he's like, he's, he's like, hey, can I get a picture of you? I think. He's, he just takes a picture of me. He's like, what are you supposed to be? I was like, I'm like a mean bunny. Because I was tired. I was like, I was hot, sweaty in there. I was like, I'm a mean bunny. Uh-huh. Or something, bad bunny, or something like that. Yeah. And he's like, uh, how much would I have to pay you to come to my daughter's wedding at six and just hang around for an hour? And uh, what? And on for a little bit. I was like, I was like, I had to cut it off. Well, I was, I was like, no, well, I'm sorry. I, no. I couldn't tell if he was like fucking with yeah. me. Yeah. I was like, you want? He had talks. It's like, you. First of all, of all the cosplayers here, you you came up to you, me. You came up to the guy who bought this cosplay. I didn't make this. You, I bought this. You didn't go up to the guy who was Gabber. No, you went up to. Who, by the way, he didn't even know. So I was like, oh, his daughter must be a fan of Donnie Dark. No, he said, what are you supposed to be? Mm-hmm. So he didn't know what I was. He was like, it's, it'll be funny. I mean, it would be. I, I, it's like, dude, you have guys here who have put months into yeah. work of their. Of their uh-huh. suits, and, and they're and just a jackass like me who's just like, I'll just take it from my suit. basement and fuck around. Yeah, uh-huh. I, I was I was flattered, but I was like, there no, was, no. There was a um a point today where we were just like, okay, let's just it's the last things are winding down. Let's go to like the eight millimeter room in the London, you know, mm-hmm. where they're showing eight millimeter films. And we, it was like the we proved set up where it was like he was still the, in the Frank suit. I was sitting and in the we theater sitting with in the, the theater, eight millimeter, and it was like doing the one doing guy like set out set up and was just like, dude, that's awesome. The theater <laughs> scene because <laughs> it was just like it was just me and him watching. It was just like it was like when Donnie went and watched Evil Dead oh and Frank was there. Yeah, it's like, it's like man suit. Uh huh. What are you doing that stupid man suit? And then, well, my goal for the day, this day, mm-hmm. was I was everything's closing down. It's the last day, and I was like, I want to get a picture with Bob Eggleton and Matt Frank, with <gasps> Frank and I got it. You did. I got it. Well, well. First, we walked up to the uh, to the to the buying stuff room. Yeah. They weren't there. Like, huh? So we went down. We watched Destroy All Monsters. Like, like the short, like the short, like yeah. the, like the twelve minute version. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, okay, let's go back up. And I found them. I found them both there. And I got I got the pictures. And That's uh, awesome. Every time I took a picture with anybody, I just made little rabbit ears behind their head. So oh a rat. my god. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I was very proud of that. That's awesome, dude. So, from now on, I think every G-Fest, I'm going to bring Frank, and I'm going to be the Frank guy. Please, yeah. please. Well, and also, the first day you saw me, you both convinced me to just stand at the wall and do nothing. And it oh. was, and I got pictures of that, which just made it more memorable, because mm-hmm. you were just standing there, and there was even people who were like, oh my god, like, it's, it's fucking Frank. Like, there was even yeah. one guy who was like, dude, are you fucking yes? Like... Uh-huh. People are just, it, just absolutely loving it. Oh yeah. And uh, oh, what were you gonna say? Oh, and and today uh, we were in the room, and I, I stood out in, like in the middle, dead middle of the thing, and I, I did not move. I stood there, and he filmed on his phone and like made it fast. Time lapse. A yeah. time lapse of me just oh, standing there. Oh my uh-huh. god. And I put, with, with I the, put all mad around me. I put oh. mad world over the. Over but the, over the over what the was video. what was funny is that someone like walked up and like. Oh, it's a person. <laughs> like, they thought it was a statue, and they just, oh, it's a person, okay. Even though I'm wearing a name tag, so. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, but, but, so next year I'm going to, I might even, like, fork over the extra money to get, like, a, a thing that says Frank the Bunny on uh-huh. it. Oh, dude, yes. Like, just, yeah, why not? Oh, but, yeah. Please, yeah. yeah. it's, yeah, but that was, that was fun. I like, cos- I was like, I should have gone in the, in the parade. Yeah. Just. Why because not? I mean, I mean, there's fucking Hank Hill. Hank Hill, like, uh-huh. dude. Like uh-huh. you, got, you got to do it. People, people have done like stuff like that every year. There was one year that I wished I was here for. There was one person that went up as Goku. Like nice, so, that's awesome. Just straight up Goku. Straight up Goku. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, yeah, people just do shit like mm-hmm. that, and it's awesome. <sighs> I, I mean, there's like the skits that even happened, you know, like Joey Leonard skit at the very end of the oh, costume yeah. parade. Yeah. Joey's Joey's school of bad acting. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like I love Joey Leonard. He's oh, he's yeah. a, he's an absolute he's the best ball of energy. And when he did that skit, I was so happy to watch it mm-hmm. and record it. I was like, mm-hmm. yes. I was like, because I don't know if you guys heard like when they announced his name. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't hear that. Oh but. yeah, it was just like because it was packed in there, and man. everyone was quiet. And I was the only one that screamed, yeah. 
<laughs> nice, dude. I, I think I heard you. I, I, I was like, wow, there's a really excited fangirl out there. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was me. <laughs> I do have, I do have, uh, just to close it, I do have a plan. I told Ben about this. Oh, I have yeah. a plan for next year. His, uh, his, his cosplay. A costume. It's, a, it's a very shoddy costume, but I think it'll be funny. Hmm. Santa Clauszilla. Santa Clauszilla. Very shoddy, but possible. But possible. But possible. Uh-huh. It is very possible. And my idea, like, if I want to do an actual cosplay, mm-hmm. Giant Claw. You know what? That would actually be really sick if if you came in as Giant Claw, mm-hmm. because I don't think anyone has done that. But my idea here, listen, to, okay, hear, me but, hear me out. <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. I have two ideas, both kind of similar. Number one, I come out. I'm holding a model battleship, Ooh. and I smash it on stage. Oh. <laughs> or or. I come out with the board game battleship and I smash it. <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna pick that up though? Yeah, literally. Who's gonna? Well, just have like an empty box of it, or, or, or throw I, it on the ground or something. Yeah, or, or maybe I just have the battleship and I just snap it in half. Yeah, or something. yeah, do that. That, that would, would be a great be, idea for you. You need to do that something one of these days. Yeah, that's that awesome. giant claws. My if I or the logo, the logo to Mountain Dew Code Red, huh? who is like a red camera. Just, oh, that's right. And so I just come out with like two bottles of red of Mountain Dew, and I, I throw it at people. Or oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I mean that, that's a little radical, but yeah, I mean, well, I mean, may, may, may walk down to like this fucking metal. Fuck, well, dude, this but, fucking metal. Well, I come out with, with with like a little a twelve pack, and I uh, as I'm walking down, I'm handing people red <laughs> Mountain Dews and shit. But those are my ideas, but I don't have the time or talent to do it. Yeah, so dude, maybe one dude, day. One day, dude. One day. One day. I love one you, one day giant, giant claw costume. Yeah. yeah. How about you? You do cosplay? Man, I have. I, the last time I ever like worked on a cosplay was probably back in like 2013. Um, it wasn't mine. It was I was helping a oh. friend, mm-hmm. um, and uh, we just got his cosplay together. But I have not made one. I've always wanted to work on one. But mm-hmm. the thing is that putting the time into it. Yeah. That's my problem. And money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money as well because you have to really just dedicate, you know, the craftsmanship on mm-hmm. that stuff. Yeah. That's why I just never have done that, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm not even that art, you know, that art artisty, you know. Yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. have that ability to do so and plus, mm-hmm. you know, my art is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's absolutely, yeah. Me but yeah. Wait, your art, like, like what do you like, mean? Just like, oh, just doing, like, just you know, art. art, like, well, like, you know, doing art. Um, oh, oh, okay. You know, because, like, uh, when people talk about art, you know, they talk about drawing or painting, but, like, for me, my type of art is, like, I play the drums, you know, that's my mm-hmm. type of yeah. art, oh, you know, musician. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. But, um, like, when it comes to doing stuff like that, I'm not that good with crafting, you know, yeah. like, a suit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That's my case. This is not, this is not like... Yeah. It's just not like your area of expertise. Yes, basically. exactly. Yeah. yeah, I get that completely. Sometimes I'm, I'm just like, I just get jelly, you know? Yeah. Or like people are, are able to do that. I'm just like, yes. oh. Dude, there's, there's been some killer, killer suits mm. that people yes. have made. Um, like one of them, like just to get into a little bit about that. One guy named Sean uh, Samagosu. Um, I, I, I probably butchered his last name. Sorry. But he <laughs> he created um, the 2002 suit. I don't know if you remember seeing it. The the 2002 Godzilla uh, from Godzilla X Mechagodzilla. Oh, yeah. He's the one that created that mm-hmm. suit. And then there was another one, which was Fusion Godzilla. That oh, yeah, Fusion Godzilla. Yeah. Was probably one of the most killer badass. you mm-hmm. got to show him one of these days. i got to find a picture of it. But they... They're, just done by like one person the most badass suits someone did a showa a showa suit the previous year i think it was showa 72 mm. and okay and it was it was really good mm-hmm. for a showa 72 and like people were super and this was back when it uh-huh. was at the the crown oh the crown and uh, like <laughs> i was just amazed by like what people could do mm-hmm. you know it's just amazing mm-hmm. but yeah yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it's magic. Yeah, oh, we are. Oh, oh, it's I'm, magic. If I had like access to like um a flip a fucking outlet, outlet yeah, yeah, my battery my battery's at four percent, so we're gonna have to wrap this up. Oh, okay. But, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> I got. I, uh, oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> like, oh, jeez, more. Like, oh, jeez, Rick. Oh, jeez, I should have smacked my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but but yeah. he did it, not me. Come on, yeah, don't yeah. Me. John, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Love you, bro. Love you, love you. Love you. Love you. Ben, thank you for taking me to G-Fest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship. Aww. Aww. Kiss the Aww. hand. Aww. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, remember, everything is numbered here. The monster is zero, and movie goblins is one. <laughs> All right, yeah. see you around. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. I'm on the line. Me, like my name, my career. If this, if this fails, like I don't think I, uh, I'll work in games again. I'm like in a concentration camp. If, if you can't get, if you just, if you can't get the work done, uh, then the past two years are basically worth nothing. No pressure. All you've been doing for four years is look at this, like this close. Like you can't see anything else. You don't even see the mistakes in it anymore. In a place outside time lies a mystical realm of sound and vision. A wondrous civilization. Where good and evil struggle to possess the dark crystal. For the first time, America's most exciting and legendary motion picture hero comes to the screen like you've never seen him before. The Bat! In an all-new, larger-than-life feature film. Now, the Dark Knight confronts his newest and most menacing villain. Your angel of death awaits. The Phantasm. I want you. And faces his greatest danger. Can't be too careful with all those weirdos around. A soaring new adventure. Batman. Mask of the Phantasm.